You are watching With a Cup of Tea, a production of This House of Books, an independent bookstore cooperative and tea shop in downtown Billings. Now, here's okay. our show. Well, we have today Rod Gatula, and you have a new book out, uh, Double Not Half. So, um, I'd like to talk about that book. Why don't we first find out a little bit about you? Sure. Um, so, my name is Rod Gatula. I grew up just east of Billings in a town called Shepherd. Uh, graduated from Shepherd High School, went to Rocky Mountain College, um, went to Korea after that, spent a few years in Japan where I met my wife, um, came back, taught high school English at Skyview High School for several years, and now I'm uh, an assistant principal at Billings West and um, I guess kind of a moonlighting children's author. <laughs> okay. Well, tell us about this book. Where did, how did this book come about? Um, the book actually had been kind of churning around in my mind for um, a couple of years uh, when we lived in Japan uh, with my kids in 2011 to 2012 and I was teaching English there and, and there were some kids who were concerned that being forced to learn English um, might affect their ability to speak Japanese and to operate. And at the same time, um, my son was also kind of adjusting to Japanese culture, and um, and there's a term that is used occasionally, hafu, for for somebody who's half. And um, so, between talking to my son and, and talking to my students, uh, I wanted to make it clear to them that um, if you speak two languages, understand two cultures, uh, that that's an additive experience. Okay, it doesn't take away anything from you. It adds exactly. Yeah. Okay, and so the book deals with this issue of uh, who's, the, who's the main character? This is the main character here? Yeah, so the, so the main character uh, is a little boy. Um, he's about eight years old. He's in third grade. Um, and his family moves from Montana. The actual, the back side of the book um, features kind of the building skyline and, um, and shows the, uh, the connections between the two cultures. And so he's a little bit afraid to move um, to move to a new country and a new culture and meet new friends. Uh, but as he does that, he starts having a, a pretty enjoyable time and um, he becomes double. And then uh, after he and his father have some discussions, uh, when he gets back to America, he talks to some of his Native American friends and kinds to learn to, to celebrate the, the benefits of being double. Ah, okay. I love the graphics on this. The, uh, you know, as you say, they're recognizable parts of the building skyline. You have a bridge, and then you move over into something that's more traditional Japanese architecture and uh, bridging the cultures. Yeah, exactly. Um, this kind of came to fruition between myself and the, and the illustrator, Arthur Lin. I think he did a fabulous job. He had initially had uh, a bridge that was kind of more prominent with some things in the background, and as soon as I saw uh, his bridge along with some other things, I thought, that's what we need is the bridge to, to, to bridge cultures. And, um, and the message of the book is really about building bridges and making connections um, and understanding that uh, a lot of times, you know, when you look at a map, you see borders everywhere, but you'll never actually cross a border. There's no line, there's no, and so I think humanity is at its best when we're building bridges instead of walls. Okay. Well, who's the uh, audience for this book? The audience for this book is um, primarily, if, it, if, if kids can read independently, any second, third uh, grade kids can probably read it on themselves, mm. by themselves and understand the, the concepts. Younger children can certainly have it read to them. Um, but really, uh, the book's message appeals to anybody who has that kind of interest. And I've, I've had equally good reception from adults um, who've either grown up half or have friends from both worlds or adults who now have children. Um, that have that. So it's, it's, it's a children's book um, and the thing that I tried to do with the book is to to keep it a children's book in terms of being able to read it and having the message be as simplistic as possible mm -hmm. while at the same time um, allowing adults to enrich it with whatever experiences they might have and so um, that's my goal and, and hopefully I, I accomplish that. I could see how uh, reading this book, sitting down on a sofa together and reading this book with your child 
could lead to some good discussion. Exactly, yep. And, yeah. and with the classroom, if you think about a teacher maybe reading it sure. and talking about, you know, geography or, or the way that different cultures interact and how some people speak different languages and have different customs. Well, I love this book. Thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate thanks, that. Man. Hey, good meeting you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And stop by this house of books and, and check out all the other authors they have. <laughs> thanks. This has been a production of This House of Books. If you'd like to be a part of the cooperative, please visit thishouseofbooks.com slash get involved.